What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today, we're gonna learn how to flag. All right, so who's ready to start learning how to human flag? So the first thing we got to go through is the steps. We have two steps. The first step is being able to grip straight arm side plank, all right? After you can do this move, we're gonna go into grip straight arm side plank by lifting your leg. From there, we're gonna go into the progressions. The first progression, flag bounce. The next progression, flag bounce with closed legs. The third progression, flag negatives. And the fourth progression, flag raises. So let's start off on the steps first. And the first step is gripping straight arm side plank. So we're gonna get down to the bottom of a pole. We're gonna put our hand at the bottom of that pole. As you can see, I'm like gripping the pole at the bottom. From there, I'm gonna come up to the side like I'm doing a side plank. And then I'm gonna grab from the top up here. And this top hand over here is gonna help support my body by giving it a little pull, a little tug, almost like I'm doing a pull up, a wide grip pull up. While this arm right here simultaneously is pushing straight out. So this one's pushing and this one's pulling. So you, you guys wanna be able to hold this move right here, real comfortable. And of course, you wanna be able to do it on both sides. So once this move here gets really comfortable, you guys can move on to step two. Step two is the same thing, except you're gonna lift your leg. So in this movement, you can feel it. You're gonna start to simulate what it feels like to actually be in a flag, except that you're being assisted by having your feet on the ground, of course. But it's gonna strengthen those muscles, start preparing for the next progressions. So this is the next one, step two. Gripping straight arm, Side plank with the legs raised. All right, try the other side. It's important that the bar should be right over your head, guys. The crown of your head, not behind it, not in front of it. So now you're starting to feel the main foundation of this move all comes in the bottom hand. It's really what's lifting and supporting the rest of your body. All right, so moving on, once you guys have mastered this, and if you haven't mastered this, go into the app, the NX app. If you don't have it, download it right now because we have the human flag technique guide there, and there we break down every step. So if you haven't figured out this part yet, go into the app, check out these steps to get a more thorough idea of this movement. But if you guys have already moved on, we're next to start progressions. All right, so we've been training this move for a while. Now it should be strong enough to bring the bar up to your body. So we're gonna come to this bar right here. And I'm gonna show you progression one. Progression one, flag bounce. All right, so now we're gonna actually start to incorporate what it feels like to be in a flag. So the first thing we need to cover is our hand placements. The hand placement is super important. You wanna have the hand about waistline, all right? and your hand, the palm should be out just like that. So this arm really wants to try to stay straight and pushing like this. This is the job of this, of the bottom arm, is to hold the rest of the body, support it, but also to keep it straight and push it out like that. So you wanna keep this right by the waist, a little lower is fine as well. And this is also so that you can easily grab it without having to like jump up and grab it. Cause you wanna have a nice wide grip in between. So I'll have it, up almost by the pocket level. So from here, this position here, I wanna now bring my shoulder out a little bit and bring my chest out a little bit from here so that I can have a better grip in grabbing the bar above from right here. So from this position right here, like I said before, you want your head to be right under this bar, not behind it, not in front of it. So from this position here, we're gonna bring with one leg, we're gonna swing it up and bounce. Pretty easy, right? Let's try the other side. And down. So 
as you begin to try this move, you feel like, oh, I can do it at first by pushing with this bottom hand and pulling with the top one, and I can do less of a bounce, and I'm using more of my strength to lift my body up. And then as I get tired, I can just kick a little harder just to keep my body up and compensate for the strength that I'm losing as I fatigue throughout the motion. So eventually the goal is to be able to do this and develop these movements strong enough so that you can just boom and lift your whole body up with less of a bounce. So you wanna decrease your bounce over time. So progression number two is gonna be a flag bounce, but we're gonna close our legs when we get to the top of that flag bounce, all right? So it should look like this, keeping the same form hand right there by the pocket level, shoulder leveled and lined with the bar, chest a little sticking out, hand right over the head from here. Here we go. Up and then meet together at the top. All right, let's try the other side. All right, so one of the main muscles that you're using when performing this exercise right here is a lot of obliques. So this is gonna get your obliques super shredded and also super strong because you're lifting most of your body with your obliques and your lats. Of course, your shoulders are helping as well. So we're gonna move on to progression three. Progression three is flag negatives. So we're gonna go up into a flag and then now you should be able to kind of like hold it for a little bit there once you've been training the flag bounce with the legs closed for a while at this point you want to hold it and then come down with both legs closed as you can see these progressions are getting gradually harder each one gets about 10 to 15 percent harder so you want to master one before moving on to the next one so now let's try flag negatives Up. come down together Try the other side. All right, so we're almost at the end. So the last progression, if you guys have made it this far, is progression number four. That is flag raise. Once you've been doing this for a while, and then you can do about 10 on both sides comfortably, it's now time to try the flag raise. That is from the bottom, you're just gonna pull straight up into a flag. You're gonna get to the flag level, tighten for a second, and then come back down. Up, boom, tighten for a second, come back down. You wanna be able to do this for reps. And by the time you can do this for reps, you'll be holding a flag, no problem. So the last progression should look like this. From the bottom, together. Now let's try the other side. Ooh, it's a lot of flag work for today. <laughs> All right, so you've made it this far and some of you haven't, some of you have. Now, as you're going on through these progressions, you might find, oh, how do I know when I'm ready to move on to the next progression? Well, if you get the app, open up to the Human Flag Technique Guide, and there you will see the exact requirements of when to move on for each step. And you'll have a more in-depth look of exactly how to do this. We're only skimming the surface here. All right, so let's say you can get all the way to the end. What now? How do I, how do I, or I can do these flag races? I still can't do a flag, or I could do a flag. How do I perfect it? How do I master it? This I'm about to show you guys is how I master all the techniques that I do. It's a very simple process. What I do is I start at the progression that challenges me the most, whether it be the actual move as a flag or it will be the progression right under it if I can't do a flag yet. For example, the flag raise, or it could be the flag negatives. Wherever my fitness level is at, I'll start at the hardest one. I'll do as many as I can until I break form and then I'll go into the progression previous as many as I can until I break form, go into the previous one. Until all the way, and I work my way all the way down to 
the basic, 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 simplest progression. Even with pull-ups, it could be just Australian pull-ups. You know, I'll go all the way from weighted pull-ups to explosive pull-ups to L-sit pull-ups to just normal pull-ups to Australian pull-ups all the way down working the progression. So this is how you're gonna master this movement. So let me give you guys a little snippet of what that should look like. So for me personally, you guys could jump in at wherever the progression is that challenges you the most and you start from there working your way down. I'm gonna start at the flag hold. So let's say I was to go here, hold. When I can't hold anymore, stop. Now I'm ready to go on to the progression right before it. Even if I can only do one of those reps, still, always also do on both sides. So now we're gonna go to the progression before. I will keep going with those until I max out and we're, or until perfect form breaks. Then I'm ready to go to the previous progression. All right, flag negatives. When I can't go on anymore, you see, even if you just do two of each progression, you're still training, you're still getting a solid, solid, solid workout as well. And you're gonna get this foundation really, really strong so that human flags are gonna be super easy. Next one we have, flag, flag bounce, close legs. Then, ooh, I'm actually kinda of feeling right now. Now flag bounce. work down to the steps. And we come down, pull the bottom. Then, right there. Hold, 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 hold till you can't go anymore. So you drop. Whew, all right, wow. Make sure you're training both sides, it's super important. You don't wanna be that guy that can only do a flag on one side. You know what I'm saying, that's not that cool. So, hopefully you guys take this, you take these concepts, you take this training, I wanna see you guys doing flags everywhere. And that little technique process that I showed you can work for planche, work for muscle ups, can work for any technique that you're trying to accomplish. And if you're trying to accomplish these techniques, worry free, just basically with all the cheat codes, download our app. Fenex app. You can search for it in the app store or click the link in the video description right now to get it on your phone. Learn how to human flag, muscle up, planche, all these super awesome moves. Not only that, but when you become a member, you have access to our whole database. That's all our workouts, all our workout programs. That's right, everything. All right, so I'll see you guys on the other side. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.